Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am doing a special video for Final Fantasy X here today. I just realised I forgot to put that up. Uh, and today, in this FF10 video, I'm going to be sh showing you guys how I did the Lightning Dodge Challenge, because I recently got the trophy for it. Got to admit, it's an absolute ball ache. Now, I'm not going to go and stand here and do the full 200 lightning bolts today, just purely because that will take time and it will take patience, and the chances of me being able to actually pull it off again are questionable, should I say. But, and I know there's a lot of videos out there already showing how to do it, but I just wanted to get my version of things out there. Uh, and also, I've been talking to Fuzzfinger recently well kind of talking to Fuzzfinger and I said to him that I'd uh, do this video for him as well since he hasn't done it yet and I thought I'd give him something to sort of refer to so anyway without further ado let's get on into it so first things first the first thing you're going to need is no encounters so you will need a weapon that has no encounters oh, up speaking of which I apparently don't have my no encounters on I better see to that in a second I know why I haven't got no encounters on it's because I've been um, at the uh, monster arena grinding my sphere bridge trying to get them done because again that's another trophy that I am currently missing but even with the um, arena trick it's still becoming quite the ball lake to do so I'm sort of doing it over time uh, let's just switch that out where is it Huh. Unless it's not a piece of armor, is it? There it is. Sorry, it's a piece of armor. And for the life of me, I cannot remember how you get no encounters on a weapon, uh, on a piece of armor. I know it's a, a really weird, unique item. Um, Okay, so anyway, getting on with the lightning dodge. So basically, you want to look for this spot here, and those lightning bolts are really getting on my nerves already. Um, basically, you'll see these two little holes in the ground here, and the pit next to me. And I don't know why that keeps happening. It should not be doing that right now. And basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go around in a circle and then run towards the pit. As you run towards the pit, it will actually manipulate the script of the game and it will force the lightning bolt to hit in the same place every time, so that's within the pit. And then basically all you have to do is get your timing right basically, just make sure you're ready to dodge when the lightning bolt hits the pit and that's pretty much all there is to it. I also recommend that you take breaks in between, so the way I did it was um, I actually set myself a five minute timer to start off then I set myself a 10 minute timer, that took me to 15 minutes and then I did one last 5 minute timer and I was taking breaks in between these timers just to give my hands a quick rest a quick time to just sort of get up, walk around the flat a little bit you know, just sort of shake myself about a little bit well, shake myself off a little bit Ooh, I weren't paying attention there but anyway, you get the general idea and the reason I suggest putting breaks in it's because it can get a bit repetitive if you try and do the full 200 all in one go. Um, now obviously you can't save your game either for this particular challenge, which is one of the things that makes it an absolute pain in the ass. because unfortunately you basically have to make sure that you don't screw up at all until you've hit 200. This means not leaving the area, not saving your game, and not getting hit by any lightning bolts, which is what makes it such an unbelievably annoying challenge. But as you can see, I'm dodging it perfectly well. Now I know I got hit early, but that's just because I weren't paying attention. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. And that's how I got the trophy, basically. I hope this helps people out. Like I say, I know there's already videos out there for it, um, but I just wanted to do a more up-to-date video and explain how I do it, um, and explain how it all works and whatnot. But yeah, it's basically just a simple case of no encounters, come to this spot, force the lightning bolts to go exactly where you want them to do. You're basically manipulating the game, and that's pretty much all there is to it. 
And if you can get the 200 lightning bolts dodged in a row, you will get this sigil that goes with Lulu's weapon. And that will allow you to complete her celestial weapon, which I've now got. I just haven't bothered to go to Makalania to complete it just yet. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. And also, if you want to keep track of how many bolts you've dodged, you can come to this book here in the Travel Lodge. Sorry, Travel Agency. I don't know why I just called it a Travel Lodge. Actually, I do know why I just called it that, because I was just looking at Travel Lodges a minute ago on my phone. It's so, alright, folks. I was looking at Travel Lodges because, uh, well, restrictions are starting to lift here, and I'm plotting ahead now to try and, try and organise myself a holiday for me and the partner. Uh, anyway, so as you can see, I've actually had 1,280 bolts strike towards me, and I have successfully dodged 1,123 of them, and I have dodged 241 bolts consecutively. Although I have no clue as to how I've managed to do that, but hey-ho. That's, that's really interesting, actually. Hmm. How have I managed to dodge 241 bolts consecutively? I only went for 20 minutes the other day. That is really weird. Really weird. That means I dodged for longer than I actually needed to. That was interesting. I, I didn't even know I'd done that. But anyway, that concludes this video. So now you guys know how to do it. I really do hope this helps. And one more thing I want to just put into this video is more of me asking you guys for help on this one because I am pulling my hair out on it. The only other trophy I've got left to do besides doing the sphere grids is the Renum Temple Chocobo race where you have to get all five treasure chests. Now I have tried all sorts of different tactics here and I can't actually see how the hell you're supposed to do it. That other Chocobo is faster than ours, and on top of that, it seems like our Chocobo has been sabotaged in some way because I find that the Chocobo always seems to drag to the right and you know bury itself into the wall. So if anyone knows of any tricks or tips on how to get the Chocobo to perhaps move more smoothly, perhaps, or how to get it to move faster, maybe, or I've even heard that there's a speed hack as well. If anyone knows anything about that as well, whether or not it can be done for the PS4, I'd really appreciate it. I don't normally use hacks or cheats, but this trophy is really getting under my skin. All right, I'm going to end the uh, video here. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Bye-bye for now.